Well, it's a good question. I think it's actually very up in the air right now because we're in the midst of ongoing trials that may establish a new first-line standard of care with the electin versus chrysotinib trials that have been reported out from Japan but still ongoing within the U.S. Um, that, has, that is a standard of care as a first-line therapy in Japan, and I suspect it will uh, become so here as well once the ALEC study reads out. The second line setting therefore also gets completely mixed up once that changes because everything will have to shift around and there are newer drugs that are not yet approved that will probably play a very important role in that space as well. The exciting things that we're still waiting to see are how good of drugs are brigantinib and lorlatinib and whether they um, will, what would they will replace. I think probably uh, they have maybe some eyes on becoming a first line standard themselves, but I think there's really important roles to be played for the second line. These are patients who fortunately live a long time and do develop resistance. So we really need an arsenal of drugs for s sequential use over time. And having those types of drugs like brigantinib and lorlatinib, which really have potency against a whole a broader set of mutations will be really, really important to have for when resistance develops to first-line drugs. So I'm hoping that they'll get um, used more in the second line. We'll learn more about how broadly they can cover different resistance mutations and resistance settings. And I think we yet to have, we have yet to see how long they'll last. I think they all look very promising.